Hi and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining. Today I'm going to show you how to create and edit a table in Design View in Microsoft Access 2016. Let's get started. So right here we see my uh, Access database and so to create a table you're going to go to Create tab under the Tables group and you're going to select Table. That'll create a blank table on your uh, access database. Right here is where you can name the table and change your field types and data types. Now I already have a video on this so I'm not going to show you this because it'll take too much time. So rather I've already created this table right here which is table trainer. Now I've already put in all of my field types and I've already put in all of my or field names and data types as well as some different records that you can see here. Now what this table covers is a trainer ID, trainer name, uh, specialty, certification, college, hire date, and interest for a gym. Okay, And so these are all of our different trainers here as well as their ID numbers. Now I'm going to show you how to edit this in the design view. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. If I click in the home tab, views group, design view, which is this button, or you can click the view arrow and go right down here to design view, or one more shortcut is down here along your status bar. Hopefully you can see this at the bottom. Actually, I'm pretty sure my picture is in the way. I'm gonna move that up. Right here is where you can change your views. Okay, so you can click right there on design view. And that'll take you to, to the design view. All right, I'm gonna move that back down. All right, so here we go. So the design view basically shows all of your fields the data types and it doesn't really show the records. This is where you're going to change and edit the specifics of your fields. And so right here, if we looked at the data, we could tell that trainer ID and I'll switch back to data sheet view so you could see the trainer ID is going to be different on every single record that I have because no two trainers will have the same ID. Okay. And so since it is a unique identifier, I should make that my primary key. So I'm going to click right here to the left of the box trainer ID and then I'll go to the table tools design tab and under the tools group I see right here is primary key and this designates the selected fields as the primary key. So I click right there we see the key is now displayed and there we go. That is now our primary key. Now I'll switch back to data sheet view so you can see here. It'll ask me do I want to save first? That's because it's a layout and design change. I'll click yes. And so now from now on, I could never type a, a trainer ID with a repeated value above. Okay. Now the reason I chose trainer ID is because there could be two people named Jennifer or Randy or Josh, right? So first name wouldn't be a good field. Last name wouldn't be a good field because again, somebody, there could be two Martinez or two Williams uh, within our table. So that's why I set trainer ID as the primary key. All right, so I'm going to switch back to design view and we're going to make some other changes now. All right, so uh, right down here under caption, you can create a caption and this is the label for the field that will be used on a view. Okay, if you don't enter a caption, uh, the field is used as the label. So I'll just put a caption right here that says trainer ID. Okay, and then right here is my first name field. All right, for first name, I'm going to change the field size to 20. The reason for that is typically names aren't longer than 20 characters. So I could change that to 20 right there. And for the caption, I'll change it to first name. Okay, rather than leaving it blank. All right, for last name, sometimes people have longer last names. I'll make that a field size of 20. And again, I changed it from 220. 255 and so what these numbers mean right here is basically the field size is the amount of characters that you could type into that before access will cut it off okay so meaning if I had let's say um, you know the name field set to five well for somebody with a name that's longer than fl than five the f the name would actually be cut off so that's how many characters are allowed to be put there so make sure that whenever you change the field size that you do uh, you do make sure that you uh, basically don't create it to be too short for the uh, actual field. Okay. All right. Now, next, I'm going to go to the interest uh, field right over here. And so under interests, I'm going to change this type to long text. All right. And long text basically gets rid of that 255 character limit. So this might be something that I actually type a paragraph or something a little bit longer into. All right, so now I'm going to basically teach you how to add in a new field. And so right here below interest, I could click right here. And so this is how we create a new field in design view. So I'm going to call this field minors, meaning does this 
gym trainer actually accept anyone under 18 for their um, <clears throat> for their uh, training sessions and then right here is the data type it'll default to short text I'm gonna just change this to yes or no meaning yes you accept minors or no you do not accept minors for training so I'm gonna change that to yes or no now notice when I change this to yes or no these general options also changed right down here okay and so in this section here I can see that it says format and that should be yes or no okay but you could also change that to true or false or on or off depending on what you want it to uh, display there in this case yes or no is fine all right and then uh, down here under the caption I'll type in accept minors and for the default value the default value could basically be yes or no here I'm gonna put the default value as no okay and so right here we see that I have now created a brand new field and so finally what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to delete a field and so right here is college okay now first I'm going to go to the data sheet view to see what this actually displays I click data sheet view and it says first you must save that's because we've made design changes so I'll click yes now it says some data may be lost the size of one or more fields have been changed to another size this is when I changed the field size from 255 to 25 and 20 meaning if there was anything that was in that field that was longer than that amount of characters it will be cut off since I know that there's not uh, it'll ask me do you want to continue anyway and I'll click yes okay and so that'll bring us over here we now see our accepts minors fields is right here under college it's right here but let's say that the college field is not that too important to us we could actually change the college field in the design view to just delete it entirely so I click to the left of college and then if I right click here I could go right here to delete rows okay you could also find this up in your design tab tools group delete rows I go right there it'll say do you want to permanently delete these fields so make sure that you have the correct field of whatever you're doing and click yes and it'll delete that if I switch back to datasheet view it'll ask me to save because I made a design and layout change and there we go now we see that we've made changes we've added uh, fields and we've deleted fields in the design view as well as edited fields so hopefully this will help you edit your tables in the design view it'll teach you a little bit more about that design view and so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up I also have other videos on Word Excel access and soon to be PowerPoint so make sure you check those out I encourage you to, to subscribe to the channel and if you have a video request or something that you need to learn put it in the comment section and I'll be happy to make that video for you thank you so much and I hope to see you again